introduce you this time um, to the European Society for Vascular Surgery. And um, as their current Secretar Secretary General, I'm honored to serve as an ambassador of our society um, to your esteemed countries um, here as we are really seeking for your membership and your active, active participation in our society. You, while you um, um, sir, have your lunch, let me first introduce you a bit into the society, give you some numbers, some insights in our activities before I then go over to the ESVS masterclass. We just finished our annual meeting this year. It was held in Hamburg, my hometown city. So I served there as the chair of the local organizing committee. And just to give you some impressions of our city, um, you see these slides here. We were proud to have um, almost 1,800 um, active participants during that meeting. We now have about 2,700 um, members in the society, and we achieved more than um, received more than 830 abstracts for this meeting. The European Journal for Vascular and Endovascular Surgery is now the third year in a row the leading vascular journal in our uh, community. ESVS is more than just a West European society. We are seeking to go global, and we are certainly looking for um, crossing the European Union borders. And um, for that reason, we heartedly invite you to participate, um, become members of ESVS, get all the advantages of our society, and I'm sure you will, <clears throat> you will be very pleased by this membership. The society has um, a couple of various um, com committees, including a committee on basic science, an industry relations committee. We have a large academy. I will um, come into the, uh, or go into the academy in more detail right now. We have the European vascular surgeons in training and all the trainees here are heartedly invited to participate there. We have a large training program offering for them. Um, we have a guidelines committee, the Vascunet um, Consortium. Nurses and uh, vascular techni technicians are part of the society. So you see, there is a broad variety of our society. The aim of our education is to become from a hybrid technical vascular surgeons to a surgeon and physician taking hybrid care for uh, the entire vascular patient. So we are aiming for the vascular specialist as a new paradigm of our training to become specialists for vascular health care. ESVS has, as I told, uh, the leading scientific vascular, uh, is the leading scientific vascular society in Europe. We have the strong leading journal, a very comprehensive guideline program. Two, three of our guidelines were presented two days ago here. And we have the Vasconet registry collaboration, a strong collaboration and counting and including all national registries and all um, national societies aiming to um, develop such reg registries. And if you would, um, decide or think about creating a register, you would be heartily welcome to participate in this activity. For the future, and the future already has started, we um, invented a, an ESVS translational meeting, meaning from bench to bedside, basic science to be introduced into clinical science. The next meeting and the first meeting of this case will be in Stockholm in April, April 2 and 3 next, next year. We invent an educational e-platform with a web-streamed masterclass live. I will go into the masterclass right now. And um, we add an, other, an additional um, interactive journal. You probably may know the EGVES short reports journal. This will be further developed into a true interactive journal. 
and we are now starting our activities to create a textbook which we will call virtual vascular because it is intended to be a, a living resource of knowledge. I would like to give you some numbers to, in, to interest you in the Vasconet activities. It is all about harmonizing vascular care for our patients and uh, we think we can play an important role here. As you can see here, out of um, the various publications we published in our journal during the last years, we were looking for the international variations in amputation practice. And what you see here are the different countries participating in this survey. And we see, uh, realize that there is a huge variety in amputation rates within the countries. Um, and this, of course, uh, should be harmonized for the sake of patient health. Then we started an activity um, on um, recommendations for peripheral revascularization registry data collection, um, and we included um, a couple of um, experts, 31 um, in total, um, out of the world from, from all different countries, and we um, completed a Delphi consensus round, finally um, ending up into these um, recommendations. We also see um, large variations in abdominal aortic aneurysm care in terms of thresholds of treatment and also in terms of endovascular use and, of course, finally outcomes. The idea of our society was to go beyond science and include much more education and training. For that reason, we invented the ESVS Academy uh, four, four years ago. And in Hamburg at our annual meeting we were able to offer 58 courses, workshops and seminars to the participants. More than a thousand booked seats were, um, uh, were received and um, you see that this is a very active and living part of our society in the meanwhile. And these workshops um, cover merely the entire field of vascular surgery, including seminars on leadership, um, data protection roles, radio protection, and managing clinical trials. The Academy Life platform is a surgical technical skills platform and um, will precede the upcoming masterclass in next January directly and will take part from January 14 and 15 to be held in the Johnson & Johnson Institute in Hamburg. This right precedes actually the masterclass um, which is part of the e-platform project which is also um, in, um, ad, um, added by the ESVS textbook, our new virtual vascular research. We are just starting now writing the first chapters for this textbook and we will invite um, active authors to contribute here. Coming now to the masterclass. The European masterclass is intended to be a global activity. Um, this is because this activity is a streamed platform and we have prepared a video teaser which I will show you right now. Well, the first masterclass took place in January to, um, 2019 and we uh, covered a specific topic, 
named supra-aortic vessels. We invited 18 international experts to uh, perform live procedures during these two days, which were streamed from our site in Hamburg to the globe. Different techniques to perform carotid endarterectomy were joined by techniques of um, performing carotid subclavian bypass, um, perform um, thoracic outlet syndromes and in, uh, inflow syndrome to um, operate and intervene on um, aneur aneurysms in that specific anatomical area. And all these um, um, procedures were intended to be life state-of-the-art procedures. So this is a true educational um, event for everybody um, to offer, um, to take part of it and to uh, look at it from your own screens at home. So there's absolutely no need for any travel. You can participate even actively at this meeting from your home, from your um, hospital, from your society whatsoever. All kinds of invasive vascular therapies with annually varying main focus are intended to be present. The next year, in 2020, the focus will be peripheral arterial disease. And um, all the live stream videos are to be post-processed, to be brought, bring into a uh, educational format to give you the opportunity to access these videos then later on demand or from, um, in, on our um, web page. However, the masterclass also offers the opportunity for an on-site participation to give the attendees the opportunity to meet the experts, to discuss specific details of technical top tips and tricks um, right on site with the operating surgeons. The first um, master class was chaired by Henrik Sillison. You see the uh, various number of operating surgeons having performed these um, different um, uh, procedures, endovascular and also open um, streamed from Hamburg. So the con concept of this masterclass live is a webcast and a combined face-to-face -face educational format to present state-of-the-art of current invasive vascular therapies. Each masterclass will form an edition of our virtual vascular textbook. So um, procedures and videos um, webcasted from the masterclass will be included into this textbook. So finally form our um, e-learning platform of the ESVS. <coughs> this, these were the two days in January um, uh, where we had also lectures on stroke prevention, the current guidelines and then the various live sessions on carotid endarterectomy, carotid subclavian bypass, carotid body tumor, infection um, surgery, and also uh, internal carotid artery stenting. So this actually is always on your fingertips and uh, 30, uh, 365 days per year, you will be able to access this um, educational activity. It is CME accredited, so you get your credit points when you access the event either online or on demand. Um, <clears throat> so the numbers of the first masterclass were quite excellent. We had um, 280 participants in total, 35 experts from 30 nations. Here you see that this, is a, that this is a major setup, a um, large technique behind the curtains to be able to provide this um, um, educational um, event and um, present it to everybody. We had this geographical um, distribution. On the left side, the red countries were participating on site in Hamburg, and on the right side, the blue ones participated um, via stream. So we already for the first time had quite a good 
global distribution here. Various medical specialists participated. The vast majority were vascular surgeons. However, also radiologists and neuroradiologists participated here. The status of attendees was actually dominated by registered doctors. We also had a large amount of chief physicians and head of departments. Assistant physicians and trainees also participated. The feedback on site from the participants was great and um, they really encouraged us to proceed on and um, to continue with this ki new kind of activity. The evaluation overall was also excellent and we were very happy and that encouraged us to uh, proceed with the 2020 Masterclass Edition which will be again streamed via Hamburg but we will have a second satellite um, center which will be Helsinki so you will have the opportunity to watch and visit and actively participate um, um, uh, surg um, surgical procedures and also interventions from both sides. What we also learned from the first edition was that we want to include much more videos because we have the feeling that the educational content and the value in terms of education may be even higher um, and for that we started an award and call for videos so everybody who is eager to, pre, um, uh, to send a video um, to be presented at the next masterclass is heartily invited um, to do so. These are the dates um, for the next masterclass, January 16 and 17, with the focus on peripheral artery disease, with main, main focus on the lower extremities, the second edition will be chaired by our current president, again, Stéphane Houlon, and we again will have a, a broad um, sky, scientific um, committee here. As I already mentioned, this masterclass will be preceded by three workshops on January 14 and 15, the Academy Life workshops with trainings on um, cadavers. We will train access techniques to different um, anatomical areas and we also will um, um, offer a course on living pigs, um, open surgery at the aorta and the carotids and also endovascular techniques um, again on living pigs. We were very grateful um, this year that we got the opportunity to um, have two grants from the IMAC meeting here which go to the best presenters of the posters um, which were presented yesterday and also two days ago. 16 overall posters were presented and I am very happy to announce the two winners now. The first one is Dr. Marvan Yusri. He presented a poster Is he here? I don't think so. Well, he presented a poster on endovascular management of aortic aneurysms in Bechet's disease. And the second winner was Dr. Mera Rifat Fekri Bulis. She presented a poster on assessment of clinical outcomes of peel arch angioplasty for patients with critical lower limb ischemia. Congratulations to her also. <clears throat> Both winners um, will be offered to uh, participate at the second Masterclass edition in Hamburg and um, since the focus of the second poster perfectly fits to the topic of this Masterclass, um, Dr. Bulles will be offered to present her poster as a short talk during this Masterclass. So, Thank you very much for, uh, for your attention. We are really looking forward to welcome you at our event in 2020, either in Hamburg or in Helsinki or online. Thank you very much.